Hey friends, how you doing? See what I did there? This week is part one of my birthday series. It's still my birthday month, okay? Well, when I'm filming this anyway. And we are celebrating with a fandom running club run, the one with the 7K. Yes, seven, 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 seven. This run is brought to us by the same organization that brings us the Potterhead Running Club runs and is themed after arguably, or not so much, the most loved TV series of all time, Friends. Now, I am a huge Friends fan. I want to go to the Friends experience when it comes to Dallas so bad. Fingers crossed. So when I saw this race announced, it was a no-brainer for me to sign up. And with an episode called The One Where They All Turn 30, I knew exactly when I wanted to do it. My 30th birthday, of course. Now, I ran my favorite number, 17 miles on the 17th. Instead of my age, luckily for me, or the race distance, 7K is about 4.35 miles, so I'm covered. And I'm posting this late. But hey, at least I got it done before I turned 31. That makes it a moo point, right? Right. Okay, here is the bib. I chose the number 236, as that is a number of Friends episodes. This bib is super cool. It shows Monica's kitchen, which is obviously one of my favorite places. I do like her wall and her cat poster. One of my friends who actually got me something that you'll see in a minute, has her homemade pickles jar from her kitchen, and now I want one too. A lot of things happened in this kitchen. Also across the bottom are some famous quotes from the show and theme song, as well as the umbrellas. And it says, the one with the 7K. And the charity is Simon Says Give. They're a kid-founded nonprofit organization that we've run for before, created to help the next generation of leaders be unstoppable. Oh, and get this, their programming includes world record setting, school supply and backpack stuffing events. Yes, I'm still attempting my own world record and funded birthday celebrations. Ugh, it was just meant to be like lobsters. As always, disclaimer, this is a fan appreciation video about the virtual race I mentioned. I am neither affiliated with nor compensated by Fandom Running Club or Random Tuesday Inc. who own the rights to its content and creative property, nor the charity partner associated with this event. Let's go. But how do I get out of here? Oh, right. Pivot! I think my treadmill is jealous, but say it with me. We were on a break. I thought about going for coffee or hot chocolate in my case after my run, but it's kind of hot outside. I could have done frozen hot chocolate, but I thought of something even better. And that's showcasing one of my birthday presents, which also helps me stay hydrated, win-win. My friend's water bottle, it has the frame, the duck and the chick. So happy they found that farm to go to. Phoebe's cab, her guitar, sandwiches, the lounger, the foosball table and umbrella, the turkey, and it has some sayings on it. The only thing it's missing is Smelly Cat. Should I go grab one of mine? Nah, I'll just drink this. 30 year olds gotta stay hydrated. Thanks for being there for me, Jade and Anthony. That was fun, but now it's metal time. Could I be any more excited? As always, there's a saying across the bottom and this one says, how you doing? I already asked you guys that, but it's always good to check back in, right? Oh wait, by the way, this was also a gift. Thanks, Eric. I would totally share that couch with you. Just maybe not my muffin. Meredith doesn't share food either. Okay, I'm ready now. Oh my God, it's so cool. All right, the ribbon, like the bib, has quotes from the show. Oh look, it's a duck and the chick. And says, we were on a break. See, he's her lobster. 
I'm the holiday armadillo. You've got some umbrellas there. Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? I'm glad smelly cat was represented on the lanyard at least. Ooh. It's kind of dirty. Clean it off. I'm gonna start with the back this time instead of the front because I'm super excited about the front. So on the back, it is the apartment door. All of the friends live in this apartment at some point during the show, even Ross, although his was just a quick mention, but it's apartment 20 and so there is the outside of the door. And are you ready? I don't think you're ready. This is the iconic picture frame that hangs over the peephole in Monica's apartment. It has the peephole and guys, the peephole has a little bit of glass. You can kind of see, you can see light through it. I'm not sure if you can actually see through it, but see, you have a peephole there. And it says the one with the 7K and fandom running club in the friends kind of style with the dots. And oh, I just love it. I need one of these picture frames. My door doesn't have a peephole or I probably would already have one. Although I might just use it as a picture frame maybe. And I know just the picture to put in there, but I can't show you that yet. Yeah, that's so cute. I love it. Yay. Happy birthday to me. Thanks for joining me for part one. Until part two, please like, comment, with which of these tops I should treat myself to, subscribe and ring the bell two times for notifications. I've just got one more thing to do. Won't take long. Everybody, won't take you to the vet. Obviously not their favorite pet. Smelly cat, smelly cat. It's not your fault.